Hello everybody, it is Mr. J back at it once again and and uh you know I think we ought to start off with a stronghold this time. The Brotherhood ain't exactly tacticians, but they got at least one thing right. Getting paid to do nothing is love. If we want to be major players, we got to get some protection rackets going. And we might as well start with the neighborhood that loves to pay out. Chinatown. Uh, I think this is one of the worst things I hate about gangs. These half-assed protection rackets. You know, I learned from the professional that they don't, uh, that they can't really go after these corporations because the, you know, of how rich they are and they usually have security and all that. Yeah, but what they do go after is these small time shops. Stuck to where they, to where they can't really go to the cops. Especially in these lawless areas like Chicago, New York. It's just awful here. I mean, what the hell is the point of having laws that ain't gonna work? The people need to be able to protect themselves from people like us. So now what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta cause as much mayhem. We gotta destroy as much stuff. I don't think we need to kill people, but we got the cops on us, so maybe it's not a good thing to do. Okay, so now we gotta shake them down, but we can't kill them. So what we're doing is we're scaring these folks to pay, into paying protection money. The thing is, what we're protecting them from is, is from us. Because if they don't pay up, they should, then they shouldn't be surprised if some hooligan comes up and trashes their store. And by hooligans, I mean us. That's how these protection rackets work. You pay us, we don't bust up your shop. It's one of the oldest... Uh, it's one of the oldest uh, gang tactics. It's, it's especially become synonymous with the Mafia, but they ain't the only ones that practice it. These, these low-level gang bangers and, and small-time gangs have adapted it for their own use. So yeah, this is one of the problems that gangs do. You know, I, rem I remember watching a video that explained what, you know, what what a group like the mafia does. They sell you, they create problems, and they sell you the solutions. That's generally how this whole thing originated. Now, obviously, low-level street gangs ain't the same as. Uh, full-time mobsters but you get the idea
Okay, that's all. The guy running the Brotherhood Protection Rackets owns the Pagoda Hotel. Shake him down and everyone else will fold. Okay, there's one more. All right. So yeah, apparently this guy in Chinatown's a big business owner, and uh, apparently, if, apparently he's got a lot of respect and influence. So if a guy like him folds, you know, like Shawnee said, then the rest of them are sure to follow. That's a good strategy. Holy! I hate it when they do that. Oh boy, this guy's packed. Didn't help him though. <laughs> Shop owners caught in crossfire. Chinatown shop owners start arming themselves in case of return of gangs. Fix it to it. You see, that's what shop owners should do. Okay? At the same time, though, they better have numbers and they better be ready. Because yeah. if you take a stand against some of these gangs and even kill some of them, then, then chances are the rest of the gangs are going to come down on you. It's a grim reality. But one that needs to be dealt with. These people need help. They need support from their governments, from law enforcement, from everybody. That's the only way a problem like this is going to get taken care of. Where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. What the? Jessica, how'd you like Mara's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive? That's cute. <laughs> I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking Course, bitch. I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I, I mean, I figure we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mero gave you a chance to be his partner. I'd like to be his personal dog. Okay, so she's knit shoes. So she nabbed Carlos after what we did to, to Mero. So now we gotta find him before they, uh. Before. I don't even wanna think about it. We gotta find him fast. And who better to tell us than. You see, that's the thing with the auto shotgun.
Come here, Donnie. Where are you? Oh, there. No, he's not. Ah! Here, Donnie, I got something to give you. Oh. Oh, shit. oh, God, you again? Where did they take Carlos? I don't know where he is. You're lying. I can't tell you. Meryl will kill me. If you don't tell me, I'll kill you first. You don't tell me, I'll kill you. Stop! I'll stop when you start talking. Fuck you. I'm not helping you again. Donnie. Then you're gonna die here. Go to not hell. Kidding. Whatever this they do to chance, Carlos. Donnie. I heard him say they were gonna take him on a ride around the docks. Thanks, Donnie. Ah. God, I hate that guy. Okay. So apparently Meryl... Apparently he borrowed the general's, uh... The general's, uh... Vehicle. Or maybe he got a copy of it himself. I don't know. Point is, we gotta go save Carlos. Oh crap, they're dragging him. Carlos, are you okay? Oh, oh sorry, Carlos. Oh, you do not look good. That's how Carlos' story ends. But you know. You know what they say. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. Blood for blood. A life for a life. Alright. Let's go avenge Carlos. 
Sorry. No problem, I got it. Watch out! Watch out! Uh, Jesus Christ, are you trying to get killed? Look, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost dented my car on a hippie chick. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Mero, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandi, we're gonna hack or what? Does Mr. Carlos, so she nearly takes out Shandi, too. Hey, boss. Shandi, I'm watching Bobby and Amber. Can it wait? Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over. Let's go pay Jessica a visit. Oops. Jessica. Let's not be hasty. All right, Jessica. You're gonna turn off that alarm. Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button. It's always happening to me. As simple as that. You get to ride in the back, Jesse. Get nice and comfy. Cease and desist. This is a nice car. Out of the car and on the pavement. Shut up, you freak. Please, let me out of here. That feels good. So now we got the cops on us. No fun otherwise. I'm not really sure what the purpose of that was. I mean, I think it was to stop her from doing the transaction, but at the same time, we're not really taking it either, so. I, if we had stolen the Brotherhood's money, then maybe. But either way, I think the purpose is just to kidnap Jessica. A smart gang boss might uh, might try to hold on to her for leverage. We know how much Marrow loves her. At the same time, with how gutsy Marrow is, he'd probably just he'd probably just try to burn down Saints Row like the Ronin and, and the Zombies did before. Besides, the boss doesn't plan on letting her live. Oh. 
Oh, I mean, I mean, there's probably a way to it. Like, if we quit the mission and you know, do that, maybe. I've, I never really tried it that way. Don't destroy the car. Easy said and done. Check the trunk. Just remember you should offer me something better than 20%. I feel more bad for Mero on that part. I mean, I, mean, I guess he probably had a hand in what he did, what happened to Carlos, but it seems more like that was Jessica's thing. And I feel she deserved it though. At the same time, she you know, just like the situation with Aisha and Shogo, it, it's actually kind of a reverse. You know, you know, um, Jessica had a quicker death. Carlos, his death was more drawn out. You know, it was awful. Either way, she got what was coming to her. That's that then. Alright guys, I think I'm... I think that ought to be good enough for now. First... What happened to this city? So anyway, I'm Mr. J and uh... I think I'll see you guys later. You know, take care, peace out, and God bless all of you. See ya.